If you want to know how to create Shopify apps in the year 2022, stay tuned. Okay, so here I am at my terminal and in order for this to work, I need to make sure that my Shopify CLI is on the latest version and I will just check uh, by typing in Shopify version and I have version 2.7.3. Um, you should also see this version. I think that they added the Shopify app CLI in version 2.7. I'm not quite sure, but just make sure that you have the uh, the latest version. I tried it before with 2.4 and it didn't work. So it has to be higher than that. Just make sure to, to update to the latest version so you will have all the features. And so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna CD into a projects folder where I want to create my Shopify app. So let's do that. And in here, I want to type in Shopify app create. And I wanna choose PHP. As you could see from the documentation, I could have always uh, also cho chosen um, Shopify app create Rails or uh, Node, but in my case, I want to create a Laravel app. So now I want to type in my app name. Just call it Laravel example app Shopify. Oh, cannot create, <laughs> cannot contain Shopify. All right, so I'm gonna just call it shop. I hope that works. Yeah, that works. Now I want to build a public app. I want to select this development store. And if you've um, created a Shopify app from the from the partners dashboard before then this will look very similar or very known familiar to you um, yeah you just they just created a way for you to do everything from the CLI everything that you've done from the dashboard before you cannot do within the CLI so let's just wait until it is all configured Okay, it has now created my app and you can see that it uh, also has created a link. I could go here and take a look if it has really created the app. And um, yeah, so we've got the first step. Now you might think that you could instantly open um, your app and just install it to your store, but that won't work right away you will have to do some configuration before and um, Shopify uses ngrok or ngrok to create a local tunnel to your uh, local development store so you will have to uh, make sure that uh, you have ngrok installed and you have an ngrok tunnel in order to do that you will have to say Shopify app tunnel auth and now you would have to paste in your authentication key from Ngrok. If you don't know where you can get your authentication key from Ngrok, I will show you how to do that. You will have to go to, to dashboard ngrok.com I will leave the link in the description you will either have to create a um, you will either have to create an account at ngrok or you will be able to sign in with github which is what I will do
Okay, I finally got my password <laughs> back. And now I'm back here at my dashboard of Angrok. So yeah, if you have a GitHub account, you can just sign in uh, using GitHub or whatever, like just create an account or you just gotta make sure that you can see this dashboard right here. And um, now the next step, next step that you wanna do is you wanna click on your auth token and copy that auth token then go back to your terminal and just paste that auth token in here so shopify app tunnel auth paste that token right there and now your auth token is saved to the configuration file of your ngrok yaml all right so now that you have got that set up um you can go back to your terminal and continue with your configuration. Now you could either stop start your tunnel by just typing in Shopify app tunnel start. And now you can see that your tunnel is uh, that you, that your URL is this right here, and now your tunnel is starting, but you haven't um, started your local app server yet. So let me just stop that tunnel. Tunnel stop. And let's just type in Shopify app serve, which will start your local development star server and automatically also um, that will start your tunnel. So those are two commands in one. So let's just type in Shopify app serve. Oh my bad, I will have to CD into the project, of course. So let me just say CD, which one was it? It was Laravel example app shop. Now I'm in here and I can now say Shopify app serve. Okay, it might take a while. It took about a minute for me just to set this up. But now um, the CLI will ask you if you want to update your application URL. And if you don't have any other reason to click no, then you always want to click yes because your um, the URL of your Ngrok tunnel might change from time to time. I believe every time you restart your application, then um, you will get a new URL. And what that will do, what um, they ask you is if they should update the URL that is set in your um, partners dashboard. <clears throat> So if you go to your partners dashboard and check the app URL, then you all always want it to be the current app URL that you have uh, right here. So you always want to update your application URL. All right, so click yes, unless you have a good reason not to. So click yes, and then you can see that the server is running and they also tell you to um, go to this URL right here in your browser for you to open your app and see your app in your Shopify dashboard. So I'm gonna click, um, press command. I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna press command and click here. If you're on a Windows, I suppose it should work if you just click control, press control and just click here and you will be redirected to your page. So let me just pull my window up over here. Now you get this um, page right here. This will let you install your unlisted app, which is basically your local app that you've just created. So you want to click install unlisted app. So it will take a while to for you to install. Maybe you have a faster uh, laptop than I have, but basically, that is it. Now you have your um, Shopify app created with Laravel. You can see here, um, they will show me two products and I have already set up those products here in the backend uh, um, of my development shop. 
they have already set me up with two routes the home route and the example route and as you can see they have also already installed Polaris um, their front-end framework or a front-end library so you don't have to do any of that configuration anymore they have already set up two routes now you can see here that there is an example page and um, yeah so they really uh, provide you with many many packages they have already set up a, a lot for you so you don't have to do any of that configuration anymore you can just go right right ahead and start developing yeah so that was the tutorial on how to create a shopify app in 2022 i hope it was helpful for you and um, i hope you could learn something and just all i have to say is please like the channel click the like and subscribe to not miss any videos and all i can do is wish you a happy new year and see you next time bye bye